What's up, you guys? Eric here with driverlineup.com. World's okay. A steering wheel holder. Just getting booted up for the day. I was up all night, which often happens when I'm home because I drive all night. I want to give you guys a quick little review of something. Black Rifle Coffee Company. I love Black Rifle Coffee. <clears throat> I love Black Rifle because... Here's my review. Imagine you're in the deepest sleep possible and then someone, a friend, someone you trust, walks in and very safely, right? Very safely punches you in the throat. <laughs> it's gonna really, really suck for a couple minutes and then you're gonna be wide awake. <laughs> so that's why I like Black Rifle coffee company but i've never seen these cans before usually you can get the smaller cans and then we have like bags of ground coffee but i've never seen these triple shots 300 milligrams of caffeine so it's not healthy it probably has a lot of toxins in it but man i slept slept all morning and all day so uh we're getting ready to head to prime we uh gotta go we're taking our smaller purple cushion seat up to Ross Johnson's Logic and uh, gonna run to the Prime store and pick up some awards. Jenna gets her, she gets a jacket and hat and a couple things for hitting her one year and I've got some awards that I haven't picked up that have been there for like eight months. I got like a duffel bag that I got like seven or eight months ago. So we're gonna pick up that stuff before they start the COVID testing tomorrow. Um, which, by the way, Southern Bell, Bell with Prime. Sorry to hear you. <clears throat> Sorry to hear you got COVID. There's JB. Who got COVID? Southern Bell. No. Uh, she no just way. she just uploaded a video saying that she got uh, that she has COVID, so she's being quarantined. So sorry to hear that. Sorry. Hopefully, hopefully you uh, get better. So anyway, <clears throat> that's kind of what we're gonna do. I just want to do a quick video before we take off here, um, following up in something I said in the live last night, which if you haven't yet seen the live that I did with Johnson's Logic on his channel last night, um, I'll link to it in the description below so you can watch it. It was like an hour and we talked about a lot of things. Jenna talks smack in the comments. I do. That's true. <laughs> She's a professional smack talker. So, uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun. We co covered a lot of things. One of the things we covered is uh, this YouTuber, um, Jenna watched his video this morning or kind of listened to it, but this YouTuber who just got booted from Prime. And uh, I don't know if I have just a soft spot for the guy or what. I don't, I, I think I'm one of, there's not very many people that watch his channel um, because he didn't make a channel for everybody to watch. He made a channel for his family to watch. There's like five or six subscribers. So, um, Somehow I found his channel. I'm not sure how, but I found his channel. I've been watching his journey and it's been tough to, it's been tough to swallow what happened uh, to him over the last couple of days. Cause you know, he's, I would guess he's probably about 50 in his age. So it, through this whole few months, he talks about his family and how it's so difficult to be away from his family. And, um, you know, the challenges of TNT, which you guys see all these YouTubers on, on uh, Prime AC drivers. Everybody's gone through TNT. Everybody can relate to it. Um, everybody knows the struggle. Well, except for Jenna, because <laughs> she was already on the truck before TNT. So for her, it, the only difference is she was able to start driving a truck. But most AC, uh, every AC driver can relate to the struggle of TNT. It is a tough, tough time. And to watch this guy for months struggle and go, I'm not going to mention his YouTube channel, but to watch him for months struggle with the whole TNT situation of being away from family and everything and only be 5,000 miles from uh, finishing and have a perfectly safe record until like the last two weeks of his training and to completely thrash two trailers <laughs> in one week, making right turns. Um, and they had to be pretty bad because Prime is pretty lenient with that. You know, we know a lot of students who've backed into 
back to the fences and stuff like that. And primals, of course, add miles, but they're pretty lenient generally. <clears throat> um, so these had to be pretty terrible situations. And to see that happen after watching him struggle for months and months and tens of thousands of miles and to get right down to the end of it was pretty devastating. And, you know, I, I hope... I hope it can be a teachable moment for a lot of you and for me even as as a sort of two-year I don't wouldn't call myself a veteran but two years in um, for all of us drivers is uh, you know the 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 lesson here the teachable moment is you can never ever 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 drive a truck and trailer without knowing where your ass is that's like that is rule number one well not number one but the most basic of rules when driving is to always know your asses and when you when you hit a fixed object which a lot of these mega carriers out there that have really short training they hit fixed objects a lot and that's because they're not trained to um, they're not trained to be professional about knowing where the ass of the vehicle is the trailer um you know, if, when you're making a turn, those tandems on the trailer, they can completely trash something and you could be listening to music. It could be raining. There's lots of load no, uh, road noise. You'd have no idea that your tandems or the tail end of your trailer hit something um, until you, you know, see the aftermath. So you have to visually know where the end of the, where the ass end of the trailer is at all times. And if you don't know where the ass of the trailer is, and you think you might be up against something, you stop, you don't keep going. <clears throat> My understanding of this situation is he kept going and it took a situation that was already bad and made it worse. <laughs> um, Cause he just didn't stop. Didn't know where the ass of the trailer was and didn't stop. And you know, and it, and it, it caused substantial ripple effect in his career. Um, now, ironically, should I say it? I'll say it. I'll say where he went. I don't know the guy. <laughs> I, I don't talk about a lot of other companies, you guys, and I don't mean this to be a slam on another company. I don't, every mega carrier's got its drivers, you know, that do what they do. But it's so, uh, it so tells the story of a lot of what you see out there with Swift. And hey, there's a lot of you Swift. We know Swift drivers. Jenna has a, a friend that's a Swift driver. Who, and there's some professionals. You know, there's some good drivers in every company. But the fact that this particular individual didn't make it through Prime TNT because he crashed a trailer twice in one week at the end of it. And then immediately got hired at Swift and given a truck after like 24 hours tells you everything you need to know about a lot of the memes and stuff you see out there oh boy <clears throat> anyway um so i just wanted to i want to bring that up for anyone who's coming to prime or is about to get into driving or is currently you know getting started i know there's a lot of students that just arrived at prime last yesterday i saw a couple coming off the shuttle one of the most basic things you can always remember is always know where your ass is, whether you're going forward or backwards. If you're going backwards, get out and look. Goal, get out and look. If you don't know where the ass of the trailer is. The other day I had to blindside. Jenna was kind of cracking up at me. But the other day I had to blindside and so she's in a sleeper and I stopped probably 15 times, popped the brake unbuckled my seatbelt, got out of my seat, went over to the passenger side of the truck <laughs> and looked out the window to see where the ass end of the trailer was. Um, so it probably looked ridiculous, you know, cause I, I go back a little bit, pop the brake, get out of my seat, go look out of the passenger window. And, you know, cause I just wanted to know, I felt good about where I was at. I felt like I had the right angle, but I wasn't going to keep going. I wanted to know where the ass end of the trailer was. So I, so I kept, now I wasn't actually getting out, but I didn't need to, I, I, I was still looking. I, was, I knew where the ass of the trailer was through the whole maneuver. So 
that's like when I was brand new, I learned really quick to watch the ass of the trailer because I almost took out an Amazon trailer. I was within like that close because just for a split second, when I was pulling in at a rest area, I um, kind of lost track of where the back of the trailer was. And luckily I had the light bulb of, hey, you know, where's, where's the trailer? And I look in the mirror and it's like, I'm that close. Yikes. And she did the right thing, which was to... Stop and get my trainer. <laughs> or stop, you know. Yeah, in that case, stop and get her trainer. But stop. Don't keep going. I, how many times have we seen videos on YouTube out there where someone does something and then they just commit to it and, you know, they hit something and they commit to it and they just keep going. And it makes the situation so much worse. Yeah. And, and I, there have been times in my life where I should just stop, but instead I committed to something and he's standing right here. So, <laughs> I mean, learn yeah. from that mistake. Get out and look. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to kind of share, share that with you guys. Don't be that story, man. Uh, you know, I, I do think it's, it's not, it's not actually funny that he got right on it swift with, Anyway, that's a whole other, that's a whole other thing. But um, I just hate to see someone go through, you know, forty-five thousand miles of TNT training and two times in a week make a right turn and drag your trailer up against something, you know. And you, we should, as professional drivers, we should never hit fixed objects ever. It's always our fault. If there's no other vehicle involved no weather situation it's out you know if it's dry good conditions and you hit a fixed object it's your fault it's a preventable accident and one of the most basic ways to prevent it is just to freaking stop and always know where your ass is <clears throat> so it's like the first thing my trainer said uh before i'd even driven a truck he looked at me and he said um number one always know where your ass is and number two make it your goal every single day to not end up on twisted truckers which is a like a facebook page you know of truckers doing stupid shit so uh so i think about that every day I always know where the ass is and don't end up on twisted truckers so, <laughs> so anyway uh <clears throat> yeah so we're gonna head up to prime meet up with ross to uh get him his seat cushion and uh get a few things from the store before they start the covid testing tomorrow on the third uh and then we'll give you a couple more updates here as the next few days progress so anyway guys stay safe make a decision as always drive to thrive talk to you soon